Hello, I'm George Maragos, the Nassau County Controller. Each year, over 60% of Nassau County residents miss out on the opportunity to appeal their property tax assessment and unfairly pay higher property taxes than they should. This happens because the tax burden is being shifted from those that file appeals to those who do not. It is easy to file an appeal and you do not need someone else to help you. The following video will help you to file online in simple step-by-step -step instructions. I truly hope that this video will help you to file a property tax appeal in order to lower your property taxes. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the Nassau County Comptroller's Office tutorial on how to grieve your assessment yourself online and without an attorney. We'll start by visiting the county website at NassauCountyNY.gov. On the top left hand side you'll see a button that says Departments. Hover over it and select the Assessment Review Commission. The left hand navigation bar the second option is how to appeal your assessment. Select that tab. Here you will notice the information about how to appeal your assessment including the dates that you may file. This year you may file between January 2nd, 2017 and March 1st, 2017 on the county website. Note that if you live in a village or a city they may have their own assessment department in which case you should contact them for their specific deadlines and for other relevant information that you may need to file an assessment grievance. If the following information pertains to you, scroll down until you see the click here to file an appeal button which is the second from last hyperlink. Select it now. Once again the website will ask you specific information including noting that you have a right to have a lawyer represent you in this grievance. You also may file without an attorney if you so choose. If this information is correct, you'll see that the second hyperlink, File and Appeal Online, link is now active. This link is only active during the filing period. If you are ready to begin, click on File and Appeal Online. The system will ask you to register. Registration is nothing more than your contact information, name, and the creation of a username and password. If you have not registered, please click at the bottom of the screen. Otherwise, put in your user ID and password and click Log In. Once you log in, you'll notice that you have a selection of residential, public utility, condominium, or other property type. For this tutorial, we are going to use a residential single-family home. The following selection, Objection to the Assessed Value of the Property, Form AR1 or 2. Select that box now. This should load the application to grieve your assessment. Start in Part A by entering your section, block, and lot information. If you do not know your section, block, and lot, click the magnifying glass to manually search. Your home should appear in yellow at the bottom of the box. Select the parcel ID number hyperlinked in blue on the left hand side to pre-populate it throughout the application. The photo and address of your home should populate in Part A. Once this is complete, insert the owner applicant's name and any other owners that may be on the property's title. After that is completed, move on to Part B, the owner's estimate of full market value. Here you will be able to enter in what you believe your property is worth. If you do not know a value off the top of your head, please select the Help Me Determine button on the right hand side to open a new page which will allow you to find comparable sales of homes in your area. First, you will see all the information about your home. 
On the left-hand side, under Dwelling Information, you will be able to edit any of the information the Department of Assessment has on file about your home. If everything is correct, click the Find Sales button at the bottom left-hand side of the screen below the Dwelling Information box. The system will look through over 350,000 current sales to find homes in your area that were recently purchased. On the following screen, if you bought your house recently, it may be listed again as one of the sales. The Assessment Review Commission recommends that you select the first two sales listed below your house and up to three other sales. Select the best possible matches, most useful in estimating the market value of your home as of January 2nd of this year. The formula for not getting your grievance rejected is the sale must be recent. The location of compared homes must be most similar to your home in location, size, lot size, age, and style. Do not pick sales based on a low price in order to make a case for reduction by the Assessment Review Commission. It will not be persuasive. Once you've selected these one to five comparable homes, click the Select Checked Properties and Continue button at the bottom of your screen. Here you will see the subject property on the left, followed by the three comparable sales that we just selected. At the bottom, you'll notice the Adjust Price box has adjusted the three comparable sales to the characteristics of your home. What this does is give you an estimate. If those three sales were exactly like your home, how much would they be valued? After confirming that all the information is correct, Click Continue at the bottom left-hand side of your screen. Here, briefly read the disclaimer. And note that this system is not an appraisal and is not the opinion of the Assessment Review Commission that the values located on the previous screen are correct. This is merely to facilitate your argument and to make your case that your house is overassessed. Once you agree to this disclaimer, Click the I agree proceed button on the left hand side. Here, the system has calculated the taxable market value of our subject property given the three comparables that we selected. Once this information is correct, click the continue to applications button to proceed. You'll note that all this information will be pre populated on the rest of the application. The following screen, part C, You'll note the type of applicant. This should be marked as self, meaning you are the owner of the property whose assessment you are grieving. If you are doing this on behalf of a family member or friend without compensation, note that there's additional requirements and disclaimers that you will need to attach to the grievance application. For more information, those are located at the bottom of the screen. The following section, Part D, will ask you to verify the property information of your property. Make sure that the records of the Department of Assessment are correct. Look through all the various options in Part D and fill them out and select the appropriate options. This will include the year you acquire the property, the price, whether it was an arm's length sale. For example, a sale between family members is generally not considered arm's length, well as a sale between two third parties is. The year built is the property offered for sale or under contract at the moment, and if so, the price. Has any construction or alteration been started or completed in the past three years? And if so, the cost as of January 2nd of this year. Also, during your ownership, have you expanded the house's living area by building up or out, or by converting a porch, garage, attic, or basement? Then it will ask for the type of home. If your home is located in a development or homeowners association, you may enter that name in the next screen. The following question asks, what part is currently used as a residence for the owners and their family? Our subject property, we will consider that the entire house is used by one family and that family is the owner of the property. Is the property offered for rent? In this case, we will select no, but if part of your home is rented, 
select yes, enter the number of units and the amount of rent that you collect per month. Furthermore, attach copies of all current leases. Finally, what is below the main part of the house? Finished basement, unfinished basement, crawl space, or a slab. Select the appropriate choice. Next, the application will ask you to fill in the number of rooms you have and how many of those rooms, including the number of kitchens, half baths, other rooms, full baths, and bedrooms, if this house has a garage. If so, select how many cars fit in the garage or no garage. Does the house have central air conditioning? Waterfront access, in-ground pool, or professional office space. Next, are any of these adjacent to or visible from your home or none of the above? Finally, for part D, you will be asked if there are any other pertinent facts, such as if you live in a high traffic area, that may be important when analyzing the assessment of your home. Feel free to enter as much information as possible in order for us to make a calculated decision. When this is completed, you'll notice part E, assessment requested, is an optional section. Notice that the current value as well as your estimate of the full market value are pre-populated from the top sections. To complete the section, click calculate in the top right hand side of part E. The system will automatically calculate the requested assessed value. For our example, you'll notice that the tentative assessment of our property is 905. However, when taken into account that we selected the three comparable properties, the requested assessed value is 851. The 851 is the value that you are arguing your home is worth. If you have any additional evidence or explanation to help the Department of Assessment and the Assessment Review Commission properly review your case, enter it here in Part E, Letter E. Next, in Part F, you'll notice the recent sales of similar houses, which is optional. However, we did this in Part B, and you'll notice that the three homes we selected have been pre-populated into the application. Here, you will be able to make comments on each of the three properties, which will help us evaluate the application better, as well as add additional homes. If you do not know of any offhand, you can always select the magnifying glass and go back to the comparable sales finder. Finally, Part G, Statement of Claim and Certification, will ask you for a brief code found in the black box white letters, followed by a small certification statement. Please take a moment to read the certification statement, and if you agree, click the Submit Application Form at the bottom of that section. Selecting this button will automatically send your application to the Assessment Review Commission for processing. This will be followed up with a confirmation email. Remember, the time period to file is between January 2nd to March 1st. Please remember, if you live in a city or village in Nassau County, you may have other deadlines or other requirements. Contact the proper department for more information. Please remember, as an alternative to e-filing, you can download the forms at the Nassau County Assessment Review Commission and mail them in. These forms, which are called the AR1 forms, are identical to what we have just reviewed. Please fill them out exactly the same way, mail them in. Thank you for listening to our tutorial and good luck with your grievance.